In today's video, I would like to show you the best try hack me OSINT CTF challenges that you can do to sharpen your OSINT skills. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Sad from CyberSudo. If you don't know yet, this is my new YouTube channel. The old channel got deleted. If you are interested in OSINT and would like to improve your OSINT skills and stay updated, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I have planned some YouTube videos that I'm going to be posting in the near future. There will be an announcement at the end of this video so make sure to watch the video until the end and try to not skip until the end so in today's video i'll be talking about how we can use ctf challenges to improve and sharpen and our OSINT skills there are many OSINT challenges online and i highly recommend that you do them because you will get exposed and you will learn some different methods different techniques different approaches that might help you in real life scenarios in addition to that participating to OSINT challenges will help you a lot to learn about multiple tools that you can use to gather information about something. So if you are new to OSINT, I highly recommend that you watch YouTube videos about OSINT, take some courses, or do some OSINT challenges that will help you get your foot in this field. I remember the first time I've learned OSINT, like the basics of OSINT, I've started to search for my information and I was surprised of the amount of information that I found about myself. Then I started to delete them and search for my family members, my friends, etc. just so that they are also aware of the information that could be used by hackers. So with that being said, this was a very long introduction. Let's get started. So all the challenges are going to be by try hack me there are many challenges that are not on try hack me that are very very good but for now i'm going to be focusing only on this to make the video not very long so this challenge will prepare you and teach you how you can search for images to get more information about specific image where it's been posted etc in addition to that, it's also going to teach you how to geolocate images. So you will learn how to geolocate a specific image, which will allow you to know where this picture has been taken. So I highly recommend this challenge to improve your geo-OSINT skills. The second challenge that I would like to show you is called Web OSINT, and I'll put all the links in the description. So this challenge will help you to learn how to gather information about a specific website, how you can search in DNS records, who is records, and how you can utilize the Wayback Machine to find how a website looked like in the past. Now, this is very important because at some points you might need to use all of the skills and all of the knowledge that you have learned before so you might be able to find a website and from the website you might get some names and then search for them and find a facebook account and this facebook account has a profile picture of a person that is standing in a place and you want to identify where this picture has been taken so this is why it's very important to learn different and multiple OSINT methods to extract and leverage the information that you have. The third room is called Sakura, which teaches you multiple OSINT techniques to find information about something. Now, this room has been created by OSINT Dojo, and he has a YouTube channel, and I really like his YouTube channel. He hasn't uploaded videos like since 11 months. If he's watching this video, I really hope that he uploads more videos because I really love the content that he's uploading on the internet and I highly recommend that you subscribe to his YouTube channel. And the last challenge is called OSINT which teaches you variety of OSINT techniques to find information about specific data. So you will be required to download a file that contain an image and from there you need to find information about this image, extract information and this information are going to be used to find more information on the internet. And the coolest thing about this challenge and the challenge by OSINT Dojo is that they cover multiple OSINT challenges and topics that you can use to test your OSINT skills. Now, if you are new to OSINT, it's not a bad thing to first try your best. And if you didn't or wasn't able to solve this challenge, then you can go to write-ups written by people who have 
solve this challenge so you can see how they have approached this and solve the challenge this will help you of the methods and techniques used to gather information about different types of data now for the people who know me and know my youtube channel you already know that i have not uploaded a youtube video long time ago and this is because i was working on the best awesome course with zaid sabih from c security so to get notified make sure to subscribe to cyber sudo and to zaid's z security youtube channel to get notified as soon as the course is out there so this course is going to be a real life awesome investigation that uses multiple techniques and methods to approach data and use them to find other data so make sure to subscribe to cyber sudo and to z security to get notified as soon as the course gets released